everyone, it's Anne Marie at the Permablend office. Today I'm going to be discussing the new REACH compliant product line from Permablend called Lux. We wanted you to know that this last year has been a really busy year in Permablend preparing for this regulation change and we wanted you to know that you've been a top priority. So as we begin to digest the new Permablend Lux EU compliant line, I wanted to go through the new pigments that we are using now. They're different than what we're using in the classic Permablend line and I wanted to show you the colors so that you can begin to understand the product better. So the first colors that are new to the line are the two new yellows. So this is yellow 180 and yellow uh, 138. So as you can see, this yellow 180 is very warm. So when you're looking at your CI numbers and you're looking at your ink bottles, uh, you can look and see, oh, is the formulation put together with this warmer pigment or this cooler pigment? So uh, that's one of the things that you should be looking for. We also have two new orange colors that we're using. We have a new orange 73 and we have a new orange 36. And you can see the difference in these two oranges. If you have a color that's made with the orange 73, it's going to be more vibrant of a color. If you have a color made with the orange 36, you might find it to be less vibrant. Here's the uh, comparisons. This is with the iron oxide, yellow 42, and then the two new yellows that we're using. So you can see the difference in the iron oxides. The iron oxides are just, we've talked about this before, very heavy, very dull, very opaque. And these uh, colors are very more vibrant and less opaque, more transparent and again, just the reds that we're using, right? So comparison of all the reds, I always love to show the iron oxide red, just how different it is. So your colors are going to give you more opacity uh, if it is a inorganic blend as opposed to an organic blend or uh, just a blend of organic and inorganic. As far as the new pigments that we're using in the new Lux line from Permablend, these are those colors. So now you understand the base pigments that are being used and how they look and it will help you to decide on which client these colors are best suited. As we start to roll out the new colors for the Permablend Lux line, we are starting with colors that we feel are the most popular colors in Permablend. And again, guys, we're not matching color for color because we're using different pigments in the line. So although the color may look similar to a color, it may not behave exactly the same. And you can see the differences in the reds and the yellows, that in and of itself would cause some color differentiation. So as we move on in time, you're going to see that we keep adding colors to the Lux line. And so right from the beginning, we're starting only with four eyeliners and we'll continue to push, push in color as we make them. So the first liner that we have is a carbon-based black and it is uh, called Onyx Black and it is just our basic black eyeliner with a very high percentage of carbon. So you'll see uh, when you use it, it's just a black eyeliner, just like you're used to using in the Permablend line. We also have a new modified black, and this color was made with one of those oranges and um, just really allows that undertone to have a slight hint of warmth so that those black liners stay really black. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this color. Then uh, we have this blue, and this is called Blue Eyes. And this is just for those fun clients that want some color, and then the green as well, and this is just green eyes. So we've kept the names pretty simple for the liners. And just as I said before, we're gonna keep adding to the colors for the liners, but for now, this is the beginning. So we're gonna talk now about the brow colors that are new to the EU compliant line, the Lux line for Permablend. We've got 13 new brow colors. Again, we'll be adding to this line, but I just wanted to give you guys a visual of what we're starting with. So the first is called uh, Barely Brown. It's just a light color for those light blondes. And we also have Toasted Almond, which is a bit darker, but again, for those light blondes. 
We've got chestnut, which is just a beautiful chestnut color, uh, also a light value color for the new Lux line. This is light tan. Light tan is a color that can be used to lighten up any of these brow colors if you wanted, or if you had um, the right redhead, you could absolutely use it on her. Foxy Brown is a medium value brown. It is yellow based and then we have coffee. Coffee is just a medium brown color, beautiful brown color. Fig and dark fig. And then Java and dark Java as well. Brown Suede is a brand new color to the Permablend Lux line, so we're excited about this color. It's beautiful, uh, deep brown color with a little bit of a red uh, undertone. Mahogany is a very deep, dark brown, uh, one of the darkest, and then black umber. So we've got the three darkest are the mahogany, the black umber, and then the brown suede. And then of course the dark java and the dark fig. So those would be our dark value colors. And then true copper. True copper is a modifier. You can use this color to warm up any of the brow colors. And if you had the right redhead, you could also use it on her. We are really excited to bring you this first phase. And that's the beginning of the Permablend Lux eyebrow line. And we're really excited that we were able to bring this line out to you guys. You're important to our family and we just want to continue to be able to support you in all ways that we can. We're going to be discussing the lip colors that are new to the EU compliant Permablend Lux line. And so what I thought would be better is to break them up into categories. So I'm going to start with the lightest of the colors that are new to this Lux line. Uh, and I want to give you guys the visual. So we have a color called Cotton Candy. And Cotton Candy is just a very light pink that can be used to lighten up any other color, any other lip color. Um, we have Peach Veil, and you can see it's just a, a very light, natural, nudie peach color. And then Subdued Sienna has a little bit more orange in it compared to these others. And you can see here, and this will all be online, you can see the colors here and you can see the color differences here. And so when you're ordering for your customers, um, these will be available as well. The new pink colors to the Permablend Lux line are Pink Gala, Hot Pink, and Pomegranate. And you can see by the colors that um, they're quite different. And so the Hot Pink is very bright, the Pink Gala has a little bit more depth to it, and then the Pomegranate is a deeper color. This is the comparison from the Hot Pink to the Pink Gala, so you can see which would better suit your clients and these are the pinks. For our muted pink colors in the new Lux line, we have a color called Rose Royale. We have a color called Rose Wood. And we have a color called Victorian Rose. Now, um, here's the three of them in comparison to each other. And online, you'll also be able to see them in the drawer downs this way. So you can see that the Victorian Rose is much more pink than the Rosewood, which looks a little bit more orange in the color, and that the Rosewood has the most opacity out of all of these colors. So this will give you a good comparison of all of those three colors. Moving along, we have some of the earth tones. We have a Henna, we have Muted Orange, and we have Blossom. This color is called Rouge. And we have our new Spice. Moving on to the reds for the Permablend Lux line, we have a color called Cardinal. And it is a medium value, medium opacity color. This is Cherry, another red. And then Red Apple, which is very bright, very vibrant. And along these lines, uh, more toward the oranges, uh, we have a color, a new color called Vivid Coral. And this is just a very bright coral color. I think it will be beautiful. It has its uh, medium value and medium opacity. 
And then these are the dark value colors in the Lux line for lips. So we have a color named Boudoir, and it's just a deep cranberry. Uh, and then we have a cranberry color, which is a deep cranberry uh, as well, but just a, a, a bit lighter than the Boudoir. We have a color called Berry, and I love this color. This reminds me of uh, lipstick that my mom used to wear and Vintage Maroon, which is also a deep, uh, dark value and high opacity color. And that is the darkest colors in the Permablend lip line for now, phase one. And then two of the new orange colors that can be used as modifiers or they can be used to neutralize a lip. We have Orange Peel and navel orange. The navel orange has titanium dioxide in it, and so you're gonna get a bit more opacity, uh, where the orange peel is just pure straight orange. And you can see next to each other, the orange peel is uh, lighter, it's, in the, it's the one in the middle, and the orange, the navel orange has more of that opacity, but it's also a little bit deeper. So you'll see that on, online as well. We're really excited that Permablend was able to bring you these new EU compliant colors. We're really excited for you to try them and uh, really wanted you guys to know that Permablend is a company that cares, that we have your back, that will work really hard to get done what needs to be done in order for you to continue to use the best product on the market. Please check out permablend.com if you have any more questions and looking forward to seeing you soon.